Hello there, greetings, how you doing? My name is Ronnie, and this is a weekly sales report on the platforms that I sell on. Two main that we're gonna cover today are eBay and whatnot. So here's everything that I sold this week on eBay. I know I just released one of these on my channel, but I was a little late on doing that one, and I'm on time on doing this one. Today it is Monday, April 18th, happy birthday mom. We're gonna cover everything that I sold from the 11th, Monday the 11th of April 2022, all the way up through Easter Sunday, April 17th. First item I sold is one that has been in my store for quite a while. I picked this up at Goodwill for like $4, I want to say. Uh, I had no idea what I was doing at the time, uh, so I'm glad that this one sold because it's been in there for a while, and quite frankly, I think that it's hideous. Oh yeah, and by the way, there's 25 items that I sold on eBay, so I'm going to try and move through these pretty quick. Under Armour, I uh, decided to contribute some funds to the Wounded Warrior Project for this one. I think I paid $5 for it, and it was in my store for several months, but I'm glad that it finally uh, sold and we got to throw some money to the Wounded Warrior Project. So this one has sold and it has now been returned back to me, so I will be listing this again very soon, probably for the same price. Very comfortable jacket, it is a little bit smaller fitting though, and it's an extra large, so uh, that was the reason they sent it back, because it just didn't fit. Shoes from the personal collection, I went on a bit of an Adidas shoe binge a while back. Picked these guys up for 25, I wanna say, and wore them and was able to sell them for 15. So you can see that I've started to employ my new condition description. I love how that's up at the top. People don't have to go down to the description to see if there's anything wrong with it. It's just right there front and center. This was picked up for a quarter and I sold it for $7.50. Go Cardinals. Well, this was a Goodwill purchase for $2 and sold it for $10. Item from the personal collection here, an inaugural season pin that I picked up at Bush Stadium. I want to say that I paid like 15 bucks for it maybe. It doesn't have a price on the case anywhere, but... Yeah, I'm glad that somebody that's into baseball can get some good use out of that. I've had very good luck selling Duluth Trading Company stuff, especially when I can pick it up for cheap. I think this one was bought for $2, so not a really great flip, but uh, I can always tell whenever the listing is a little bit older because of my backdrop. You know, we've got the white on white background. I started out with uh, listing stuff on a table and wrapping paper on top just to give myself a white background. Then I went to this, which is like poster board that is on the bottom and on the wall. Then I went to gray tiles on the bottom, and now I've elevated my game to gray tiles on the bottom and on the wall. So it's it's kind of interesting to see the progress that I made in photographing my items just in a short amount of time. We're going back to back Duluth Trading Company here. This is a pair of shorts that I picked up for a dollar at Goodwill. These are books from my own personal collection. I snatched all of the figures out of them, so they were just the books, and they sold for eleven fifty plus eight dollars and eighty six cents in media mail shipping. I'm hoping these folks notice that there is a pretty significant rip on the leg, as you can see there. But I mean, again, we've got the description right there. Picked those up for 10 cents, sold them for five. Somebody got an absolute bargain on this one, $8 for this Columbia jacket. It was pretty much in pristine condition. And again, with the white on white background, that tells me it's been in my store for a while. So I was glad to see this one exit, especially since it's springtime now. Another jacket from my personal collection, super comfy, uh, just a little bit too large for me, so it needed to go, and I got 10 bucks for it. Nice little pickup at a recent Goodwill adventure, somewhat recent because we've got the gray uh, bottom and the white background, so maybe like a month ago I picked this up for, I want to say I paid $4 for it. Helly Hansen Vintage Purple, I thought it would sell for more, but that was kind of the going rate for this one. U.S. Expedition, I'd never heard of this brand. Uh, it sold, to my surprise, for pretty good money. The person did message me and request a return, so I'll let you guys know uh, whenever I receive that one back, if I do. Because I think return shipping on it's going to be around $5, and they have to pay that, so I can't see that being worth it to them, but you never know. Found two pairs of Vibram Five Fingers uh, shoes out in the wild. I didn't know if these were still popular or not. Whenever I looked these up, apparently these are some of the original pairs that they had out there because they don't have the velcro strap that goes across the top so these were pretty in demand you can see we've got gray on gray so this is a relatively new listing for me i think i just listed them last weekend and they sold for my asking price of 20 bucks i only paid two dollars for them and here's the other pair that sold for even better money thirty dollars for those i'm glad that i purchased a couple of these shoehorn things because if i didn't have those in there they were all collapsed in on itself and it looked really terrible. Like with this, you can kind of get a sense of what it would actually look like if you had your foot in there. And I think it makes for a lot better overall picture. I wound up finding those shoe things at a thrift store. So I only paid 10 cents a piece for them. It was a good pickup. Super cheap pair of Levi's women bootcut jeans. I paid a quarter, sold them for seven bucks. Nice little sell here. Uh, I was getting ready to check out at a local thrift shop and they had this camera lens uh, at the front checkout. They had a $20 price on it. And I thought, you know what, Nikon camera lens, 
yeah, I think I think I'll pay you the twenty bucks for it. Not even bother looking it up. I was hoping that it would be like a hundred dollar, you know, two hundred dollar lens. Not the case. They were typically selling for around forty dollars. So I elected to do a promoted listing on this just to get a couple more eyeballs on there to see if I could get a better price for it. It was only listed for about three days and it sold for my asking price of 50 bucks. Sold a bag from my own personal collection for, I, I accepted a best offer of $5 on it. Oh, I was going to say, I think that that's the wrapping paper background. It's been in there that long, but maybe not. Uh, so yeah, to get five bucks for it, I'm glad because it was just sitting there not getting used. Another item from the old personal collection here, it's a quarter zip Nautica sweater sold for 10 bucks. Probably the flip of the year so far for me. I paid a dollar for this vintage Levi's blue denim trucker jean jacket. That's a mouthful and it sold for $50 was the best offer that I accepted for it. Sold a Woody. Picked these guys up on clearance at Walmart for 12 bucks a piece. I've got one of them in my booth uh, at the flea market. I've got it listed for 30 bucks. I uh, haven't had anybody take me up on that one. This is the first one of the three that I have uh, that have sold. So I made 10 bucks uh, right there. And then I made a couple of bucks on the shipping as well, I believe. All right, we made it. We reached the, the peak, the summit. Uh, I've got these Lego Dacta red box containers. I don't even remember how I came across these. They're used. Uh, I listed them at buy one for 15 bucks, or if you got more, then you got a better discount. Somebody took me up on that offer this weekend, bought four of them, so that got the price down to $12 each, and then I also refunded them $10 in shipping because it just wasn't as much as they paid in shipping for that money, and I felt like I needed to do that, give them back some of that shipping charge. So now we'll switch over to whatnot. So during the time period that we're covering this week, I did three auctions, the first of which is upon the screen now, right in front of you. Sold $711 worth of merchandise. This is a mix of new parts, used parts, and sealed sets. Auction number two was pretty similar in size, $389 worth of merchandise sold. This one was pretty much all minifigures and parts. And then once again, continuing the trend of whatnot auctions where I sold $300 in merchandise. There's another one uh, just last night. This is the one that I did, and it went really well. Sold uh, 60 new part lots in that auction, as well as quite a few minifigures in our minifigure draft game. So I am making a video that's going to cover all of the preparation work, my thoughts as I'm going on the whatnot stuff, in particular this auction and the auction I'm doing tonight and the auction I'm doing tomorrow. So if you're around, you want to come by, say hi. The day that this video comes out, Tuesday, I am going to be live on whatnot, 6.30 p.m. Central Time. Come say hi. Would love to see you guys there. Or if you're watching this in the future, you can get links to my eBay store, my whatnot profile, send me messages on Instagram at bit.ly backslash sold by Ronnie. Whatnot did allow me to change my username today, so I'm now sold by Ronnie on whatnot, eBay, YouTube, Instagram. It's all cohesive, it's all over the place. I'm really excited about that. The only place that I still have the Ronnie Resales moniker, I think, is on my email. And I just submitted an order for new business cards last night, and I really need those to come in. You guys want to take a look at them? Let's let's see them. All right, there you go. You guys have seen it here first. Those are my new business cards. We've got the whatnot branding added on there. Everything is sold by Ronnie. I love it. Cohesion. It's good. Branding. Yes. Hooray. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Until next time, happy selling.